in 1971, motivated by their vision of a green and peaceful world, which was a small team set sail from Vancouver in an old fishing boat. Their mission was to bear witness to US nuclear testing at Anshika, a tiny island off the western coast of Alaska, which is one of the world's most earthquake prone regions. Anshika was also the last refuge for 3,000 endangered sea otters and home to bald eagles and other wildlife. Though the old fishing boat was intercepted before it got to Anshika, the mission Greenpeace wanted to achieve sparked public interest and the US still detonated the bomb but nuclear testing on Anshika ended that same year and the island was later declared a bird sanctuary. These activists were the start of what became Greenpeace and they believed a few individuals could make a difference. Greenpeace haven't stopped there and have put a spotlight on many different areas, with one of those areas being ocean dumping of radioactive waste was one of Greenpeace's major targets in the 1980s, with many companies around the globe dumping their waste into the sea. The waste which was dumped into the oceans were producted during the nuclear energy cycle, which remains hazardous for hundreds of thousands of years. Yet each year, millions of litres of radioactive waste used to be dumped into the oceans. National governments allowed this practice, which was a major threat to the environment and a potential health risk to millions of citizens. In 1993, Greenpeace documented a Russian Navy vessel as it pumped liquid waste directly into the Sea of Japan. Greenpeace has repeatedly warned that Russia was using the region as a dumping ground for radioactive waste from its submarines and icebreakers. The Greenpeace crew sent evidence to international media outlets in real time. Japanese television stations rushed to the scene and started beaming footage that was quickly picked up by media outlets around the world. Media interest sparked by Greenpeace had consequences and Japan, the United States and other countries were outraged by Russia's behaviour and demanded a stop to radioactive dumping. Eventually Russia gave in to mounting pressure and Russian President Boris Yeltsin agreed to suspend the dumping. The London Dumping Convention was where the world came together to take action on dumping of radioactive waste, where 37 countries signed a legally binding document which banned the dumping at sea of radioactive and industrial waste worldwide. Saving the whales. Since the 1970s and 18s, Greenpeace has campaigned against whaling. Greenpeace have described the action as the madness of whaling. The hunting species after species to verge extinction is the same model now being used in modern fishing today. Protecting the whales, not just from hunting, but from many other daily threats they face, will be a signal that governments are serious about all ocean protection. After years of Greenpeace action against the whalers, the Antarctic Whale Sanctuary, which protects the creatures, was approved by the Commission. In 2002, Greenpeace was one of a coalition of charities that helped defeat a campaign by Japan to reintroduce commercial whaling and in 2012, South Korea abandoned plans to conduct scientific whaling which would have hunted whales after pressure from Greenpeace. Greenpeace haven't stopped campaigning and one of Greenpeace's main new focuses is on climate change with their call of a climate emergency which Greenpeace sees as the biggest threat to the planet.